What's up everybody, it's your boy Kai, and today we got some real bangers for you guys. Look, I know a lot of people have been wanting to know exactly how do I get or what specific loan do I go to? What are the best loans that I go to to be able to get uh, funding for my business and what do I need and you know, et cetera, et cetera. So within this video, we're about to get ready to give you guys a loan that you guys can literally get within 24 hours, okay, of applying. Now, the people that we're gonna be going over is going to be Cardi, okay? I mean, excuse me, Cardiff. Excuse me about that, yeah. Cardiff, we're gonna be going over them and we're gonna go over the requirements that you need to get approved within 24 hours for them. Now, before we go ahead and start this video, I want you to go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. That way you'll be updated every time your boy drop a fire video, all right? Let's go ahead and get to it, all right? So Cardiff, right? A lot of people have probably heard about Cardiff on the internet and you guys have probably seen the brand and everything like that, but you guys don't know too much about them or what do you have to do to qualify for funding or what do they require exactly for funding. So the first thing we want to go ahead and talk about with them is uh, all the loans that they basically offer because they offer a lot of things with, uh, within uh, Cardiff, right? So the first thing is they offer, of course, working capital loans. Right? That's going to be the first thing. The second thing that they offer is going to be credit cards. Of course, business credit cards. They offer that. Also, they offer a line of credit. They also offer equipment financing. Um, and I think I, I feel like I'm missing one more thing. Uh, it might be one more thing on the list that they that they uh, that they actually loan out, but uh, I cannot think of it right now. Okay, but. Specifically for this video, we're just going to be going over working cap. Oh, that's what it is. SBA loans. They also uh, they also fund you for SBA loans. So it's a little bit easier to go through them and they make sure that your profile is right for the SBA loan. OK, uh, but like I said, for this video, we're going to mainly be talking about the working capital because that's going to be the easiest. Uh, that's going to be the easiest loan to be able to get with these people. And I'm going to basically go over the requirements for you. Uh, but I'm also going to put the link down below for you guys if you guys want to go and apply for your business. Now, before we start this, I want to let everybody know that with Cardiff, if you do not have, if you have somewhat challenging personal credit, okay, if you have somewhat challenging personal credit, they do not, they based off credit, they do a soft pool, we're going to get that right, they do do a soft pool on your personal credit. But first of all, their requirements is that you have at least a 500 FICO credit score, okay? So not too bad, that's not even a fair credit score. You don't even technically have to have fair credit to be able to get approved for it, but just know that they are going to do a soft pool on your personal credit, okay? To be able to see how your credit profile looks and everything like that. Next thing, I need you guys to know that you are going to, especially if you have challenging credit, you are going to have somewhat type of business credit established. And this is what I talk about. Now, when we say business credit established, I want you guys to know that mainly with these people like Cardiff and uh, other people that loan out and give credit lines, right? I need you to recognize that most of them just want to see that you have a business profile, okay? And by business profile, I mean, how, does your, how is your business put together? They don't wanna see too much okay, does this person have, well, they're not too much worried about, okay, how is this person credit uh, uh, database? How is they utilize, utilization and this and that, right? They don't too much go over there. They're based on, hey, listen, does this person have a business profile? Are they established with, uh, with Don and Bradstreet and the small administration uh, business, okay? They're gonna check with both of those and see, hey, listen, uh, is this person have an established business at all? Is the profile showing up? Then after that, they're gonna look at the income, all right? That's gonna be the next thing. They're gonna be able to look into your income of your business bank statements and say, hey, listen, this person is pretty much responsible. He only purchases business purchases through his business account. That's what they're only meant for. Uh, like I tell people a lot, it's not good to run your personal transactions through your business account, simply because when people look to loan you out stuff, when uh, people are looking out to loan you stuff, they're gonna look, and trust me, I've had it several times before I've been through it. I hate the process, okay? When these people, when the, the underwriters will call you back and say, hey, listen, we see that you're running these transactions through this account, I'd have been through it and done it, okay? 
The whole point is, it's just best not to run your personal transactions through your business account, all right? They're gonna look at that and say, hey, listen, Kai's been going to the liquor store, Kai's been going to Walmart every day, this and that. Keep your personal transactions in a personal account, all right? That's the best advice I can give you on this video. But next thing, all right? Next thing that they are going to look at and they require is going to be six months, all right, of you being in business. Six months of you being in business. So that means if you have had an LLC for at least six months and you've had a couple of transactions running through that account, you are definitely prepared already for this loan. All right. Remember, the easiest one to get with these people are where it is the working capital loan. OK, so your business has to be in business for at least six months. Next thing. Next thing, you guys. The next thing they want to inquire, remember I just got done telling you that they're going to look at first, they're going to look and see, hey, uh, does this person have an established business profile? All right. Then next they're going to pull that soft credit pool and make sure that you have that 500 uh, uh, FICO credit score, which is not, it's not a high score at all. Okay. Uh, that's actually a poor score. So yeah, they're going to check and see if you have that 500 credit score. And then after that, guess what? The next requirement is that you have at least six months of bank statements to be able to prove that you've been making some income with that business, right? Remember when I just got done saying they're going to be able to check, and this is majority of people, this is majority of people that give out loans, credit lines, and especially corporate, corporate credit cards is what I tell people because corporate, when you apply for corporate credit cards, they don't base off anything but looking at your business profile, they don't pull us off credit pool sometimes, and they just basically look off the income. They only go off, that's the good thing about corporate credit cards is that they, base, they, are, they are based off income only usually, okay? That's the main thing that they look at. But your whole goal is to just make sure, now I don't need you to have $100,000 inside this business account, all right? I just need you to have transactions going through it. That way you can give them six months of bank statements. Provide them with that, all right? They're gonna analyze it within this loan is capable for you to be able to receive within 24 hours, okay? It all depends on the underwriting, reviewing it, and getting back to you, all right? Now, like I said, this is going to be a loan that a lot of people have gotten and also that a lot of people know about, but more people don't know about the requirements and how simple it actually is to be able to get approved for their working capital loan, all right? Uh, and that's going to basically be it for this video. Like I said, they're going to be a great loan. They have great rates when it comes to the working capital loan. If you want to be that person that, are, uh, that applies for different loans for them, the equipment loan, the credit cards, the line of credit, any of those things, be free, uh, feel free to be able to you know, apply for those things, especially if you're someone uh, that has good or fair credit. All right. Uh, I would definitely say you shoot after whatever you want. But uh, that's going to conclude this video. You guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope, you, like I said, I'm going to have the link down below. And make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. That way you'll be updated when your boy drop a video, okay? This is Kai Gibson, and I'm out.